Business News at 10 in high definition. It was standing room only at today's public hearing. A huge crowd ready to voice their opinions on a proposed fairness ordinance. Good evening and thanks for joining us. It would protect gay and transgender people from discrimination. The amendment passed in Omaha. Now the Lincoln City Council is trying to decide if it's needed here. For the latest, let's head down to the County City Building where Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Megan Palera is standing by live. Megan. Well, lately there's been a lot of talk about whether the fairness ordinance is even legal. The attorney general is advising that it's not. The city council is still moving forward anyways. In fact, today's public hearing is still going on in the building behind me. That's more than seven hours of testimony. As people packed into the county city building, the line to speak was nearly out the door. Up for discussion, a proposal to add sexual orientation and gender identity to existing non-discrimination policies. I believe that there are no moral, ethical, even economic reasons which makes it okay to discriminate against people because of their sexual orientation. There were plenty of churches and clergy men and women who spoke in favor of the change, even though religious organizations would be exempt under the amendment. But there are still some who worry it will keep them from practicing their beliefs outside of the church walls. If I want to hire employees that share my views, that's my business. Just as a person has a right to be a homosexual, I have a right to run my business as I fee see fit. Don't tarnish this beautiful jewel of a city and make it nothing more than a colorless, dull rock. But it was Public Safety Director Tom Cassidy who received the first of many crowd applauses, calling for added protection for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. There are lots of people in Lincoln that I respect and admire, work with, have laid my life on the line with, and had protect mine. Uh, that are protected from discrimination by this ordinance, and I stand here in, in, in defense of their rights as citizens in this community. Again, the public hearing is still going on as we speak. No clue when that will uh, wrap up. Now, the city council will vote on this amendment next week, but tonight there was a lot of talk among council members about possibly putting this to a public vote, so we'll just have to wait and see. Megan Polera reporting live for us. Thank you, Megan. By the way, Ron Brown was not at that public hearing tonight. The Husker football coach says he didn't go because he was concerned the media coverage of his involvement would be distracting. He caused quite a stir back in March when he testified against a similar measure in Omaha and failed to distance his views from the university. We asked what you thought about the proposed fairness amendment. Here are some of the comments from our Facebook page. Tina says they should be treated just like anyone else. They are human after all. Molly says, as with anything, if they want to discriminate, they will. They will just come up with another way to do it. And Mike says it's a good idea, but I'm sad that we need an amendment. It's sad discrimination exists. Thanks for all of your comments. Keep posting.